So we wanted to start with the finish of the fours today. So we have <clears throat> the four of stabs. And the four of stabs can um, definitely be the you could say the ending of the fours because it's the celebration part. You can see the four white lights making up this kind of pagoda-esque structure for which the women are dancing in. And the fours, if you remember, if you've been here before, it's, it's about stability and foundation. That's just what the number four represents. And so this beautiful sense of stability and foundation and sturdiness, it's coming into the fullness of, through the fire element, which is the staves of action into celebration. So this is the one card of the four that it's really totally about, okay, we're here, we've, we've gotten into this beautiful place of um, foundation having something underneath us, really knowing that everything is okay. And the next part of that is the celebration. We've actually completed some body of work or we've just at least, like I think of it for me, if we, we've gotten here to Michigan, which believe me is always a big trial to get here because it means opening the cottage and getting everything turned on and getting it cleaned and the, literally the boards taken off the windows. So it's this piece, this time in our lives when whatever it is where we focus something and it's finally finished for right now, at least some part of it. <laughs> There's lots more always to go. And then it's in connection with the, the four, the Sultan, which we hope to do next time. The Sultan is the one <clears throat> who really embodies that sense of that solar energy of just being able to take the action that one needs. So as we begin today, we're going to really focus in on starting with the body, which is the place I always go because to have any kind of a foundation, we need to go to the body. <clears throat> so if you're willing, you can stand up. I could just say one thing. If your legs, yes. The body's tricky because we all have so much pain and suffering and trauma. And really when we drop into our bodies and experience the pleasure of being alive in that, that heals it, but it also pushes us away. So just be aware of the selves that welcome coming into the body, those soul child parts of us that so enjoyed it, and all the parts that had a difficult time. So as you work with being in the body, just being very tender with whatever selves it brings up. That's right. So both are true. There's both can be those celebratory parts of us that are like, oh yeah, wow, I finally get to move today. Or like, my body needs a little loving attention and all the ones that are going, oh, I, I feel uncomfortable in the body or I've got pain. So all of those can be welcomed in right now. <clears throat> And so let's just take a moment to appreciate our bodies breathing into them with each big breath in, each big breath out, just noticing where's your body today. And we're gonna start with a song as we feel our feet on the floor. <clears throat> We'll just sing the first part of the song right now and the last part we may sing right before we begin the soul work but this part is is really it's all in english so it's very easy it's let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy so it's that sense of remembering that the light that we have inside of us as we focus it it can become this wonderful sense of joy both inside that joy of just recognizing our own light and on the outside as we recognize the things that we've accomplished and gotten done in our lives <clears throat> and even the accomplishment of getting here is quite is quite a huge 
task to bring all of ourselves together into one focus. All right, so let's try this. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy one more time let your light shine into focus Celebrating pure joy. And just feeling what it's like to <clears throat> begin to breathe and sing in the body and how that affects your entire body in terms of that sense of letting in the joy. <clears throat> so feeling maybe a little bit of upliftment. You can even hum it as we go through the body. <clears throat> And then just let your self feel your feet on the floor. celebration what feels good to them do you like to wiggle them all around push into the floor to your ankles, celebrating those ankles. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. Let it come up into your shins and your calves. Let those shins and calves move around via your knees. Those beautiful knees help to move us to focus, celebrating pure joy. Let your light shine into focus. Taking big breaths if you're not humming. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. And into your thighs, into focus, celebrating pure joy. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. Let those legs, the whole leg. How does your leg want to celebrate today? It's been around a long time. It's been, it's been supporting us uh, as the foundation of ourselves, our bodies. So celebrate with those legs, pure joy. So really breathing in, deep, rich, full breaths. Mm, all the way down into the feet and the legs. They're celebrating. You can love them if you can. If you can bring them up and love them, that's great. If you can't, that's fine too. Love them from where they are. You can come down to them. Celebrating pure joy. Let your light shine 
into focus, celebrating joy. And come into those wonderful hips, the pelvic floor, coccyx, the genitals. Let yourself feel the back and forth, the front and back, those wonderful hips as they thrust forward and back. And let yourself bring this celebration into the fire breath, which is breathing in through the mouth, out through the nose. You don't have to do the humming if you don't want to. And letting that, that hit those hips and your genitals, let them celebrate. The whole pelvic floor, it holds you up. It also brings pleasure. Letting yourself feel the pleasure of that right now, of just being present here with your hips. With the very inside parts of our hips. Front and back, side to side. Breathing in, deep, rich, full breaths all the way into the hips. And breathing out through the nose, radiating out. Into focus, celebrating pure joy. Into focus, celebrating pure joy. Ooh, good. So let those hips now connect with the legs and, and really celebrate those hips and legs, the whole lower part of the body for all the years they've been with us. <clears throat> Breathing in, deep, rich, full breaths in and out through the nose. You can even feel it all the way down to your coccyx. Let that, let yourself kind of move down with that coccyx energy. Imagine your coccyx, coccyx being your the pivotal point of your body. Light mm. shone into focus, celebrating pure joy. Now up into your belly. Oh, really fill up that belly on that inhale. Mm. And then let it radiate out. You can massage the belly, all the organs. The intestines, the kidneys on the back, all the muscles. <clears throat> Filling it up with lovely, juicy energy, the light with each inhale. We're letting the light shine inside. <clears throat> Radiating it out. Imagine we have two big eyes right here in our in our solar plexus region. So every time we breathe in, we radiate it out of his eyes. Like they are the eyes of our car, our own human instrument. And then bring that energy all the way up into our breasts and our hearts and our upper chest and our upper backs, the scapula. Breathing into that whole upper torso area. Large breaths of light. And exhaling out. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. Light shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. Let it move around that whole upper body. Let it expand and celebrate. Oh, that celebration. Find that way of expanding your upper chest. 
Mm, and then radiating out through this whole upper part. Mm. And after you do that, let it radiate out through the back. Let it expand, that light come into the back of you and your scapula and let it really shine out. Mm. And then all around, even underneath your arms, let it let all that light in. Mm. Stretching it out underneath on the sides. Mm. And celebrating with your whole torso. Shine into focus, celebrating pure her joy. Let your light shine into focus. Celebrating pure her joy. Delight shine into focus. Celebrating pure her joy. Yes, continue to breathe in deep. Rich full breaths of light in through the mouth, out through the nose. Celebrating that torso. Good. And now coming into your shoulders and your upper arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your fingers, your hands, breathing that light in through these whole wonderful instruments that have really been a part of us again for so long, thanking them as we let them infuse with light, shaking them out. Mm. Shaking out those arms and shoulders that have so much responsibility. Mm -hmm. And radiating out the light through them. Breathing in the light, mm -hmm. radiating it out. Mm -hmm. So much light to come in. Mm -hmm. Into focus, celebrating pure joy. To light shine, into focus, celebrating pure joy. Yes, let them really celebrate. Celebrate with those hands, those arms, those shoulders, and connect it with the torso. So you're just celebrating with this whole top of the top of your body. Mm, thank you, thank you, body, for all the sturdiness and stability and the action you've given us through all these years. Mm, with pure joy. Good, and then bringing in that light to the, to the neck. You can stroke your neck. Rub it a little bit, all these sore places where it connects to the shoulders. Mm. Stretching it out, breathing in deep, rich, full breaths of fire, light into it. Mm. Breathing it out. Mm. And letting it go up into your face, your sinuses. Breathing in that light into your sinuses, into your mouth, mm. into your ears. Mm. Into your nose. Mm. Into your eyes. Mm. Into your third eye. And then your scalp, mm, and your hair, mm, and the whole back of your head where it connects to the spine, that place of the atlas. Mm, and then let the whole neck and head celebrate. Celebrating pure joy. Shine into focus, celebrating pure joy. Mm, 
let it really just do whatever it wants to do to celebrate, to feel good. And let your whole body now, breathing it in through that hara, through the, that place right below the belly button, a couple of big breaths. Breathing in, letting it radiate throughout your whole body. Mm, on that exhale. Mm. Mm. You can let it vibrate really gently throughout your whole body to bring that light in. time in the begin so that we can celebrate with the song so let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy let your whole body celebrate into focus celebrating pure joy let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy let your light shine into focus celebrating pure joy now pulling up your chairs as we're getting ready to sit for our soul work meditation and we're going to complete the song. <clears throat> and the word in here from the Sufi tradition in the Arabic is ishq. And ishq really is the glue that holds all of existence together. And that glue is really love. And the other word is Allah. So it's the, it's the glue of the one. It's the love of the one. And it ends with this. There in the flame of your heart burns love. There in the flame of the heart, Ishkalah. There in the flame of your heart burns love. There in the flame of your heart, Ishkalah. You can pat your heart as you're doing this. There in the flame of your heart burns love. There in the flame of your heart, Ishkala. One more time. There in the flame of your heart burns love. There in the flame of your heart, Ishkala. Ishkala. And then breathing deeply into your heart, <clears throat> letting your body really find its way in the chair or whatever place you're sitting so that you feel connected in and relaxed those you could say the four corners the four the stability being there the foundation of the four and as you feel that stability your heart lightens and it's easier to know that it's safe and there's space to go into your heart so just slowly as you settle, continue to settle in that ground, in the body. Just imagine 
your chest, the sacred space of the heart. You can imagine your chest plate is soft and porous. And as you breathe in, the breath flows in, your loving awareness, your loving attention. Just flow in, nourishing your physical heart with light, with light, with love. And as you breathe out, just cleansing, releasing, letting go of old impressions, anything needing to be released. But taking a minute or two to just breathe in and out and you'll notice perhaps other cells, other parts trying to pull your attention away, asking them to just rest gently without judgment, bringing yourself back to really the focus on your heart, the garden, the temple, the sacred space of your heart today. Just being curious what it's like to bring your awareness to your physical heart, the sacred space of your heart, your heart center. And as you do that, just listen to the invocation again, stretched into the soul work invocation. Toward the one, the perfection of love, harmony and beauty the only being united with all the illuminated souls who form the embodiment of the master, the message, the mystery, the miracle, the mother, the spirit of guidance. As you continue to breathe in and out of your heart, just imagine Imagine a place of celebration, of nourishment, of safety, a place of equanimity, of really spiritual celebration and nourishment. Perhaps some place from the past, perhaps it's a place you often go in the garden of your heart, or perhaps you remember some celebration where we came together celebrating the higher realms of our existence, of love, harmony, beauty, of coming together and companionship and fellowship it's each of us as mystics on this path of mystery and unfolding. But just allowing whether you see that place from your past or from some place you've read or imagined or come in a dream, whether you feel that place in your body or whether you just sense, imagine it in whatever sensory modality or, or just having that intention to come into this place of perfect realization and celebration. And take a moment to explore with the inner senses this place. And if there are selves that are busy or whatever, just inviting them on the journey or they can just rest in your heart. Right now there's nothing to do, nowhere to go for these few moments, but just resting. And if there are parts that are fast, letting them know it's, it's okay right now to slow down. Nothing to do, nowhere to go right now. We're taking a pause from the outer life to come to the inner life. The rhythm here is different, it's unfolding, it's timeless. And know all our hearts are together, supporting each other. forming this larger heart of all of us gathered here today. Just feel the support and love of each other. And in this place, with all love and all respect, we call upon high self, our celestial self, the angel of our being, this spirit of guidance that dwells within each of us to come into our hearts for a time of communion, a time of guidance, a time of dialogue. But we begin with whatever, whether again, we see, hear, feel, just imagine, maybe just a spacious field of that larger transpersonal celestial energy that is in each of us. 
Just allowing that to flow as you inhale as a blessing. As Baraka from high self to you, blessing you as conscious self and any other selves, any other parts that are gathered here in our celebration today, but bringing this blessing from high self in, nourishing all the cells in your body, nourishing your heart, nourishing all the different parts. And as you inhale, breathe that in. And as you exhale, breathe back love, gratitude for this deepening connection and link between you and high self. Perhaps high self comes as just a a knowing or a gentle thought or a realization that comes up during the day or known deeply in dreams or perhaps there's a sense, a felt sense of presence or you see or hear or feel high self right now. Just another moment breathing in that blessing and breathing back love and gratitude. Letting all your cells know it's okay to open this right now. Any cells that don't feel comfortable, they could just step aside for these few minutes. Let them know it's okay. And we open to you, beloved high self, for any guidance around opening to these moments of celebration in our lives like we're opening to this moment, we can celebrate in different ways. We can celebrate in ways that bring our energy down, but we can celebrate in ways that nourish and fulfill and reach that deeper spiritual, as well as all the psychological aspects of ourselves that raise us up. So we ask for your guidance to help us understand ways that we can come together with our inner family, with outer friends and beloveds to celebrate and raise ourselves up, to celebrate this deepening unfolding of the mystery of light unfolding through us and in our lives of companionship, of nourishment on all levels of body, heart, mind, soul. like when two or more are gathered in my name, I'm there among you, and two or more are gathered. How do we gather together in this always challenging times as human beings, but how do we gather together to support our unfoldment in light, love, life, laughter, dance, moving with the stars and the galaxies, so we tune to these larger dimensions of our being, and we celebrate every aspect from the lowest to the highest, self we support we thank you for your guidance we welcome you to come around this inquiry at any time today as a thought or an understanding or a synchronicity or perhaps in our dreams tonight we ask you to support us as we breathe that breath of unity with you as we welcome in any self any other selves or parts that have anything that they wish to share especially of types of celebration of coming together that they enjoy whether they're memories from the past or ways that are happening in our lives right now or that may be happening. 
but we ask those selves who so enjoy, have enjoyed, enjoy, and look forward to enjoying, to share, whether through memories or movements in the future, ways that we have celebrated, are celebrating, and will celebrate. Especially those moments of completion. See if there are any moments of completion that any of your inner family wish to share with you right now. And we so appreciate you and your enjoyment of coming together. It really takes celebration in our lives and all the small movements forward, all the small victories and masteries and accomplishments. Taking a moment to see if there's any other self who wish to share with you so you can listen to your inner family, really recognize the accomplishments that you've done and these parts have supported you in. Maybe starting all the way back, reviewing your life for all the accomplishments and celebrating them. It's the celebration of making every single connection with the parts inside and with friends, family, acquaintances in your life is a celebration with each meeting, each connection as we reweave this web of connection of relatedness. Taking a breath, inviting all those selves to enter into the breath of unity with high self, with you. And we also welcome in and so work every part from the light to the shadow. So we welcome in any self or selves that have difficulty with connecting. We want to get to know you and hear your story. So take a moment to allow some self that may be shy or is hesitant, really allowing, welcoming that one into your heart and taking a moment to just get to know this one a little bit. Where are they in your body? How do you sense them? And what feelings do they have? And do they have certain thoughts or beliefs? And does an image arise too, aside from the kinesthetic image, a visual or other images arise from them or seeing them, knowing them? And then what behaviors do they engage in? Are they shy, do they withdraw, do they hide? What do they do with this, this one that's uncomfortable with these connections and celebrations? And really to taking a moment to notice how you feel towards this one. You drop into that space of love and respect, of empathy and compassion and curiosity. If not, know you're blended with another self or part. And just asking that one to step aside. We want to get to know this one. And just taking a moment to open to this one that is has some difficulty with celebrations. Invite them to share anything they wish to share with you. You continue to hold them in love.
Really making sure they're aware of you. If not, just really introducing yourself, letting them know this wonderful, mature, conscious self that you are. Just asking them any way that you can support or help them. And do they have a job or a role in your psyche, you could ask them what they see their work is inside. How are they trying to protect you if they are? And what they're afraid would happen if they weren't doing this job. Again, letting them know that they're not alone now. You're here and there are many other selves or parts who want to help. And there's always the connection with high self. Inviting all these selves in to be in this circle of love, breathing with high self, breathing the breath of unity, all gathering together. Taking a moment to really acknowledge the celebration again of all of us coming together every time you meet with beloveds on the path. And us right now, feeling all of us together in our hearts, imagining we're in that beautiful pavilion with these four columns of light. And we're all meeting together every time. We even meet any time we think of each other. There's a meeting happening on that subtle plane. Just take a moment to hold all of us in your heart and know you're being held by the rest of us too. Feel all our high selves holding all of us also. And with this community of illuminated souls, of high selves, of all of us as conscious selves, helping and supporting each of us holding all the parts, all the different selves. I'm thinking one more moment resting in this pavilion of light, of love, of life. Imagine each of us there with all ourselves, how many are gathered here at this moment. And to close the soul work for today, let's sing the song first to the inner plane, to all those gathered inside. Let your light shine into focus Celebrating pure for joy. And let your light shine into focus. Celebrating pure.
kill her joy. There, there in the flame of your heart burns love. There in your flame of your heart, Ishkala. And then we'll bring it one more time through the whole celebrating the outer realm and all of us gathered in the outer world to bringing these inner and outer worlds together in this meeting. Let, Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure her joy. Let your light shine into focus, celebrating pure her joy. There in the flame of your heart burns love. There in the flame of your heart, Ishkala. Just keep saying, Ishkala. And as you do that, slowly in your own time, coming back, refreshed, aware, you can just notice all of us gathered singing Ishkala to each other. La. Ishkala. 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 One more time. Ishkala. So just taking a moment or two to reflect on your journey. If there's anything you want to jot down or draw, or you want to stretch or move or just sit. We'll just take a moment to reflect on our journeys and then we'll have some time to share.